here just a quick update a little short video of what we've been doing it's about the end of the day it's about six o'clock we're running the batteries hard but uh we've still got 2.8 petahashes going it's not bad and uh we snuck in $49 for the day. It seems like a lot of work for a little bit of a little bit of payout on the batteries. I'll try to figure out how to screen share later. We're pulling 39.7 kilowatts off the batteries right now, 30% an hour. Right now we're pulling 779 amps continuous off the batteries. Putting a beat down on them. That's alright, they like it. Um, today, I just started getting these three ready to do the barn. Uh, got the circuit breakers mounted up. I started making jumpers until I found out I was out of red. So, I had to order some more wire. Uh, did get all the high voltage side wired into the next panel box. So we can take the feed out. I started running the liquid type for the solar, the PV lines. I've got a pipe through the wall up there that goes outside to feed them all in. And I'm waiting on a 15 way box it'll sit right over the top of that and they'll tie in the end of it and that's where I'll have my solar disconnects. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to bring the excess cable down because technically I think the wire on these feeding them should all be the same length. So this one will just kind of run straight down there but these two I think I'm just going to coil the wire up behind it and let it hang or mount it to the wall. That's the plan anyway. I did get everything labeled. And uh, as far as I know, that's it. We do have one set of panels on the barn now that I could hook up because we got that other grid in. The steel still hasn't showed up for the third and fourth grid. I went ahead this time and ordered enough pipe and flat bar for the last two, so won't have to just keep ordering a little bit at a time. It should have been here by now, but it's not. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. And we can work on that over the weekend. But I'm gonna start turning these back a little bit. So we're pulling about 100 amps off of each battery at this point. And they're down to 29% and they need that much to get through the night turns out these inverters somebody had mentioned it in the comments they do pull a good bit of power just at idle especially when you got 12 of them and I found out I need at least 25% on these batteries just to make it through the night without the batteries shutting off under low voltage just because of the idle consumption on the inverters. But that's it. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get the rest of it piped in and maybe Saturday we'll have a little video where we can start these up.